Good morning once again, and welcome to Some Good Seeds. I have an important seed for us to consider, to plant in our hearts today that is really, really vital to our ongoing relationship with the Lord. Uh, my Bible reading is Ezra chapter 4, Psalm 113 and 127, and Luke chapter 9. And the verses that I want us to consider are found in Ezra chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. Here's what they say. Then the people of the land tried to discourage the people of Judah. They troubled them in building and hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia. So uh, in the spirit of jealousy, these foreigners who were occupying the land, that is those who had been uh, repatriated to Judah, they wanted to help rebuild the city and the temple. However, Zerubbabel and Jeshua told them, no. The result of that denial was that these people uh, and their compatriots harassed Israel in their efforts to rebuild the city and the wall and the temple all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia. So uh, the interesting thing to me here is that this incident really... I think really serves as a warning to us about mixed relationships. These people claim to worship the same God as the Jews did. However, Zerubbabel saw right through their roots, and you can look in verse 3 and see that take place there. Their worship had been a mixture of Judaism and whatever gods they worshipped uh, when they were in their own countries. You see, it was the practice of the Assyrians and later the Babylonians to take the people from the land and put them in different lands and mix them up. That way they would avoid any kind of uh, rebellion that would take place. And so uh, that was their practice. And those, so the, the worship then in Israel became a mixture of whatever gods those people from their different lands worshipped and the Jews who were still in their country. Uh, their claim, however, about wanting to worship the same, same God or that they worship the same God was false. And, and today, there are, there are people, and some even within the church, who say, uh, we all worship the same God. All, gods, all the roads lead to God. And every religion, all gods are the same. And we want to partner with you in building the kingdom of God. Well, the problem is, that's a false claim. And we must come out from among them and be separate and and have our doctrine be pure and, and not mixed with the various religions of the world. We've seen that happen uh, over and over again with false religions, cults that call themselves Christian, but are not Christian because why? They do not hold to the basic tenets of the faith, of the doctrines that the church has held on to for millennia. So we must come out from among them and be separate. No compromising with false religion, with the cults, and with false doctrine. We have to stand firm to the truth of the Word of God. Oh, well, how can we do that? How do we know? We stand true to the Word of God and hold on to the truth of the Word of God and do not let our doctrine be diluted with the false doctrine of the cults and other religions. Amen. May the Lord help us to be true to the Word of God. And may the Lord richly bless you today as you stand firm upon the tenets of faith, upon the doctrines of the Word of God. Amen.